Hello Libra friends, I'm Annie Botticelli and welcome to my video, Libra August 2020 Astrology Must Knows. We have a lot of reason to breathe a sigh of relief this month. We've got the eclipse, the height of the eclipse season is behind us. Now that doesn't mean that we might not still see some manifestations. And for some people, your big news is actually yet to come, sometimes four to six weeks after the eclipse. And the last one was July 5th, um, four to six weeks. So that's like all of August, basically. Sometimes big news comes in even if it hadn't prior. Um, for many people, however, anything that comes in eclipse related in August will be either a continuation of a storyline that was very much set into motion prior, or this energy of finding normalcy with the changes in the new world, not just the new world at large, but in your new world, your personal changes. So this energy this month is very much like a baby giraffe. I don't know if you've ever seen a baby giraffe come out they, <laughs> from their mother when they're born, they start to walk or try to walk really quickly. And their legs are all gangly and awkward and you know that energy of finding one's footing in a way that looks a little bit awkward and that's kind of the energy of this month. You know, it's but it's exciting because there are so many new things and it's just like the awkwardness of a baby taking first steps. Um, a little wobbly, but exciting. Okay, so we have the, he the heaviest part, the most emotional parts of that kind of, and you feel it. I know as I'm recording this and as I post this, we're like right in the height of the eclipse season and you know what I mean. It's like this big, overcoat of emotion that is just for a long period of time. So by August, this is really starting to clear. And for some people, it will have cleared completely by now. So the next thing is that Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde, even the post shadow transit transits are over as of the end of July. So we enter August with Mercury clear and clean, Venus clear and clean. So any of the decisions that you had to make regarding your love life, regarding your money, regarding the things that happened, you've got this short window from the end of July, we'll say around July 22nd through the 28th is my favorite time, but like into the first days of August, before we get too much into Mars retrograde. Mars retrograde starts November, uh, September 9th and goes through November 14th. But the shadow period that precedes it, which starts to manifest the same types of things as the transit, will be heating up this month. Mars rules our oomph, our sexual drive, our um, get up and go, our how we use our energy, our impetus, our motivation, ambitions, and inspirations. So many people will find that those things will start to wane as the month goes on and then for the rest of the year we're sort of covered in this Mars retrograde. So what does that mean? That means that you've got this window before Mars gets too heavy, but once the other things are clear to use Mars in Aries for the momentum that you're trying to, um, to push forward. And the most important thing with Mars retrograde is to follow the signs. If you're starting to get angry or frustrated, things are not working, it's probably your cue to stop pushing. That's one of the biggest themes of Mars retrograde is to not push. And any assertion or aggression that you push out, whether it's filing a lawsuit or whether it's starting an argument or voicing a concern that has some charge to it or whether it's trying to accomplish something or launch something. A lot of times that energy gets pushed back on you and is unproductive or has like a boomerang effect, okay? So you wanna walk this line this month to follow your cues to get the things done and then stop when the energy starts to shift, okay? This month we have more than twice the amount of challenging aspects compared to the sweet ones. So that means you're going to have to work a little harder for your gold this month. It doesn't mean it will have to be a bad month. People want to say, is it going to be a good month or is it a bad month? Sometimes we need the tensions and pressures to crack us out of a place that we are stuck in. So in that way, we can look back on transits like we're going to have this month and say, wow, that was the impetus that pushed me out of a situation that I really needed to get out of. It's uncomfortable, it's stressful, and two of the, the dates, two of the aspects, August 13th and August 24th, you really have to watch because they're Mars and Pluto and Mars and Saturn. These are very combustive, they can be downright dangerous. So if you're gonna hide under a rock at any time, those would be the times to do it. If you can't and you have to engage with life, just be super aware. Don't antagonize people that are on edge. 
you know, it's not the time to aggravate the person who's tailgating you and go extra slow to make them mad. That's the type, that's the time where if you do that, the person will come and like stalk you and do crazy things. Like this is, it's dangerous energy for people who are on the edge and, um, and the tensions are going to run high. Because Mars in all of this retrograde, we talked about this last month, so I definitely recommend listening to the July report for more um, in-depth information. And we'll get into this more in the months to come as well. But Mars retrograde is opposing Libra. So this is, you know, taking on a special significance where you've got to be extra ener extra careful of how you're putting your energy out into the world. And really that's one of the themes of Mars retrograde, which is learning to use your power in the best way and learning to deal with and heal the ways that people are not using their power the best ways in the world and the ways that's affecting you morally or personally um, to move past that. So we've got a lot of Leo energies this month and the Leo energies are going to be bringing networking opportunities to Libras, okay? so social media, social interactions, yourself as part of a tribe, finding your tribe, um, working with groups, either leading them or being part of one, seeing yourself from the perspective of being part of something greater, community-based projects, all of those are burning bright for Libras this month. And even those of you who are the October born and the, and the later part of the sign, this is true for you all too, but you'll see this develop more as the month goes on. It's a little bit staggered for those who are later in the sign, but this will happen. It just might take a little longer to start to jazz up. So if somebody says, you've got to meet this person, they can help you, or if someone invites you to a network meeting, unless your intuition is clearly telling you no, it might be time to push through some social anxiety or to place yourself in a situation where you'll be connecting with people because it just burns so bright for you at this time. Now within that, certain problems within your social structures or within your social interactions or with your friends or friendships or groups may start to make themselves manifest. So the same place where you might find some really great uh, things for you, you may turn up some things that are awry that you might have to shift. And this, this goes back to this idea of the tribe. I was at this wonderful restaurant in Sarasota called The Green Zebra. It's got yummy high vibe food. And on the chalkboard, they had this, this um, writing that said your vibe attracts your tribe and i love that i've been thinking about that ever since and that's very very poignant for libras at this time if you are finding that the people that are around you are not what you resonate with it could be because of a lack of discernment as far as really being honest with yourself about the direction you're going in or it could just be that you've changed so much in recent times that you look around you and all of a sudden your life, the, the people around you don't have as much resonance anymore because you've changed and they haven't. So this month is going to be very, very focused for Libras on retuning into that, you know, and, and some of the friendships you might have to say goodbye to. Some of them you might just kind of be a little bit not in right now. It doesn't mean you have to end them. It just means that you're finding those places that you're feeling most magnetic and that are aligning with the place that you want to be, not necessarily just where you're at and definitely not really where you've been, all right? So you've got to really, really look out for that at this time. There's something very wonderful going on in the stars that's a conjunction with Venus and the transiting North Node. The North Node is are areas of highest expression in this lifetime. And when we look at it in transit, it shows us clues at the current time for where we can find pieces of information about our highest expression and how to be living in our highest expression, our most conscious and fulfilling path. So specifically for Libras, and this is for early, middle, and late degree, all the Libra spectrum, there's something special about teaching so or, or learning so possibly you might find some keys and getting some education for yourself either on the same topics of things you've already studied or are interested in or different things if you want to make a change if you've been having like spirit whisper to you hey study this or hey look into that this north node might be part of that because even without the the venus conjunction 
this has been influencing and you might have been hearing it say, okay, it's time to learn more or it's time to teach, it's time to step into your teaching. This also can have to do with international connections and it could have to do with long distance travel. Now, I don't know what degree to which the world will be open at this time, but it doesn't necessarily matter because the energy can be um, manifested through connecting with people that are international in nature. Either they're from different countries or cultures, or you're learning about the different countries or cultures, learning a language, um, or just having international business where you are, where you live, and you're interacting with people through the internet. So there's something really special about that for Libras right now, and the more you tune into it, the more it will be there. Also, some Libras have been drawn to write, write blogs, write books, write courses, you know, or to speak or to have your voice heard in some way, in a way that will be therapeutic for you and also help other people. So part of your highest expression at this time, key is to, to landing on that path, to traveling on that path, are in this area of your, um, uh, your voice and sharing that way, learning and teaching. Also, it's on the path of your spiritual curiosity. This is a wonderful time for following the clues, whether it's within your religion or whether it's within the connectedness of spiritual beliefs um, or whatever it is, like following spiritual doctrines or principles that are leading you on a path. And this can even just be law of attraction, like some kind of general belief or resonance in some spiritual overriding principle that's like whispering to you or leading you on your way. So that's lighting up really beautifully for Libras at this time as well. Okay, so we've got some boom this month coming from the aspects that are on the 13th and the 24th. Let's drill down into the charts a bit here. Okay, so let's see here. Move that out of the way. Most of the things I talk about will be true for all Libras unless I differentiate out. And if I differentiate out, we want you to know where in the spectrum you are. Okay, so early degree Libras are basically our September born. My horoscope reports are also for you if you have a Libra moon or a Libra rising. So early degree moon rising sun, September born or zero to nine degrees. Middle degree Libras, October 1st through 10th or 10 to 19 degrees, and late degree Libras around October 11th through the rest of the sign, or 20 to 29 degrees. Okay, so we'll give you the quick visual. Here is that nice conjunction with Venus and the um, North Node. Venus, linked to this highest expression, also can be making money, earning money, topics of money, and true love. You might find your true love when you're embracing the endeavors of all of these ninth house things that we just listed, you know, the teaching, the learning, the different countries, the cultures, the spirit, the, you know, all of these things. Okay, so this is the early degree chart, but we see that that is still there for the middle degree, it's also in the ninth house, and for the late degree, also there. Okay, sometimes we see a shift in some of these placements, but that particular one is right on for all of y'all. Now I'm using the early degree chart, but unless I differentiate out here, what I'm saying is true for everyone. Okay, so on the 13th and the 24th, we have the Mars and um, Pluto and Mars and Saturn aspects. And so there, here's the boom. Okay, Pluto and Saturn, here's the boom. They're gonna connect in this 90 degree angle. It's a point of tension. So even though general anger, general frustration, general um, difficult energy can come up in any area of life. For Libra specifically, we've got relationships highlighted and we have the home sector highlighted. Okay, so home, family, real estate, relationships, people you work for, people that work for you, your nature of how you are in relationship, all of that may see some extra boom here. All right, let's look at the other charts to see if we've got a shift with, with that that boom, and for the middle it's the same, and for the late, it's bringing this energy. Everything we said about the seventh and fourth house has a spirit of that for late degree as well, but you also have some additional storylines of health and siblings, relatives that aren't your parents or kids, um, 
also your communication, your communication style, writing projects, driving, your physical mobility are all that having that extra boom. So those of you, especially at the end of the of the sign or towards the end of the sign, really guard your physical body more. And this is true for everyone. So all Libras, please listen up and everyone of every sign. This Mars in Aries rules the energy of the physicality, period, especially the head, but the whole physicality. So everyone has an increased chance of something going on with their physicality in a way that they're that they don't like. So you have to be extra careful but especially you late degree friends because this is the driving mobile mobility walking biking house okay so pay extra care if you text while driving or walking or biking just don't i think it's a good practice to be in anyway but especially with these aspects oh i put 13th and 14th here that's supposed to be 13th and 24th but the days around those days too not just the days this extra boom is coming now this boom could just be that you have a breakthrough with your mobility you heal something with your health you have a have a manifestation of a health issue and then you triumph over it remember that these tension points sometimes crack open into positive outcomes and we do have this possible story this month with this beautiful set of trines here between the 27th and 29th it's like this little a silver lining after the storm you know we've got a lot of stormy aspects this month it doesn't carry the same emotional intensity as like the eclipses there's a little bit more of a it's just different but it's like a succession of nuisances and awkwardness but towards the end we've got this nice patch here so anything that you work through could come and have this beautiful rainbow you know the rain could could yield to rainbows towards the end of the month there and I hope that that happens. All right, so something else that is going to be extra highlighted this month is this work sector. This planet is moving there. This is going to become more full. That is for late degree placements and we can see for the middle and early degree, lost my thing there, starting right from the beginning of the month, that's also very full. So that's your work and career. Work and career have been highlighted in a major way because of the Cancer Capricorn Eclipse Cycle that had been going from the middle of 2018 to the middle of 2020. That was part of where the big boom has been coming for everyone in the Zodiac. Home and family, work, real estate, career, place out in the world, place in the inner world, childhood psychology, parents, relationships with parents, your parenting, all of that has been coming up as a general theme. And now you have some extra special highlight here. You can see this fourth house is very full. This is long-term, that's home and family and real estate, and this is career and work. So you've got you know some strong factors there in a long-term way and a short-term way. And that's true, that was early, that's middle. And the late degree placements, even though it doesn't look as heavy there, it is still influencing because these outer planets are close enough here, and then these shorter-term ones are going to come and do that, all right? but this longer term aspect is still going to be coming for you later degree placements whereas the early and middle degree placements you've been going through this long term piece of home family real estate all that for longer okay so let's look a little bit more specifically at this aspect here which is going to be Mercury is going to get over to Virgo. Mercury has been in retrograde. It's been slowly moving through the cancer when really just emotional, extra emotion for all these months. Now it's direct, it's out of the shadow period and it is cruising along. So in this month, it's gonna go through, the rest of cancer is gonna go through all of Leo and it's going to start cruising through Virgo. And when it gets to this point around 17 degrees, it's going to match up in this beautiful way with Jupiter. Jupiter trines are among the most wonderful aspects in all of astrology. Any trine is the most wonderful aspect in all of astrology, but Jupiter expands everything. And because this trine, and this again, this is like, you've got these two trines, but the energy is like towards the end of the month, around the 27th to the 29th. You might feel it a little sooner, might feel it also a little later. A trine in an earth sign often brings material, obvious, fiscal gains something very clearly manifested not just like an emotional breakthrough or a spiritual you know transformation or something that's more on these other levels this is like material physical reality and this is coming 
for the early degree placements, this is the 4th and 12th. And then 4th and 12th with possibly a little bit of 11th for middle. And let's see, 3rd and 11th for late. Okay, so we'll get back to what that means. So we've got this 4th and 12th major manifestation for the early degree placements and for the middle degree placements, okay? So this has to do with something tangible with home, family, real estate, housing, home-based business. This also can be breakthroughs of um, fear, breaking through from addictions. The fourth house also rules childhood psychology. So when we have it in combination with the 12th house here, sometimes this can be like ancestral stuff that's been plaguing you and you, it clears through. So use any of the aspects that come up this month that bring you tension to tune into how you feel. I love EFT, the emotional freedom technique. You can find tons of free resources about this online. Um, in order to help you push through the emotional things that are preceding this time to help you get to the gold. Okay, so that's early and middle degree placements. Now, the middle degree placements, you also have this whisper into the 11th house, and that's just more of that stuff that we started talking about, the networking and the friends and the social groups. So possibly, again, like if you go through the challenges and the discernment process and the evaluation that by the end of the month when this happens, then you might lock in to some new friendships, heal some things with your groups, you know, get, get your um, bearings straight as far as the direction you wanna go with anything internet-based or within the group setting and with your tribe. And then the late degree placements, you also have that 11th house um, lit up. So we just talked about that, but you also have the third house lit up. So this can be something tangible having to do with a device, a computer, your communication skills, um, a writing project, anything having to do with a car or vehicle. Now in general, since Mars rules metal and cars are metal, there is some energy around just being awareful and careful as you make purchases of anything involving metal when Mars is in retrograde. But Mars retrograde is a very long transit, so you might have to do what you gotta do. And in any case here, we're not in the actual retrograde yet. So if something comes to you, like your aunt or uncle, the third house also rules those relatives, you know, says, or, or, or some relative says, hey, I wanna give you this car, and it's later in the Mars retrograde period, don't refuse it. This could be the blessing here, you know? So something tangible can come to you as far as making your manifestation of your um, expression, your work, your communication, your writing projects, your devices, your transportation, and even mobility. So that can have something to do with some kind of healing of you physically, um, or something if you are someone who has difficulty with access physically, maybe getting some sort of device or, or um, you know, a tool in some way that helps you to be more mobile, whatever that looks like for you. So in general, we've got um, a lot less heavy emotion this month, but we do have a lot more awkwardness and you know just a succession of challenging aspects, but you can triumph over these and you can reframe all of this to, to be uh, revealing to you any weak spots that are interfering with what you want. Always remember that transits that come up, we don't have to fear these challenging transits because they come up to show us weak links that are standing in the way of us and the things we want. So if you just look at them that way and you say, aha, this is what's being brought up. Now I know what to do with that. Now I know I need more work in there. I have to short that up. Then you can more merrily go through any of the challenges. And then you've got these nice aspects here, hopefully bringing some silver linings to any mischief that comes. If you want more information about Mars retrograde, search for Annie Botticelli Mars retrograde or look in the notes underneath this video. I have tons of links. When you click on the more um, button underneath the video, I have all the links that I'm about to share with you, including the Mars retrograde ones. And you'll wanna understand that because there are certain things you might wanna push through before the Mars retrograde energies get too strong. And you'll wanna know about what they are, so you can check that out. And we'll talk more about it in September, by, but by then, you will have missed this opportunity perhaps. So we wanna make sure you're, you have all the information. If you like more simple written horoscopes by me, one month early, you can go to CozyBySweetStarlight.com. It's my also beautiful, healthy lifestyle website, and you can see all kinds of blogs for healthy living there. 
If you would like to have some free classes, I have free classes at my school, Luminous Life Multiversity, loomlife.com, L-U-M-E life.com. You can also find my paid courses there, including my Becoming a Professional Astrologer Mastery course. And that will give you everything that you need in order to do astrology in any capacity, whether it's personal, professional, or however you want to do it for your self-development or to do it as your work. You can go to anniehelpsyou.com to sign up for my free email newsletter and get your written transit report, including all the notable aspects, what they are and what you can expect from them one month early delivered into your inbox at anniehelpsyou.com. And you'll also get my free 28 day virtual coaching program called Shine for free when you sign up for my email newsletter at anniehelpsyou.com. And there are tons of blogs there. So I hope you have a wonderful month and I'll see you next month. Bye.